Hello students, I am Jamin Pandya. In this lecture, we will discuss about the batch and continuous processing. In chemical manufacturing, it is a sub sector of manufacturing industry. In most of situation, it is performed using one of two methods. One is a continuous processing and second is a batch processing. So, let's first discuss about the batch processing. In batch processing, in which raw material are placed into the vessel for the long period of time, particularly to perform quality control check or refine the batch through a cleaning method. Right? So, in batch processing, we are going to add raw material for the long period of time to perform reaction. To understand this, let's consider this reactor. Right? Now, let's suppose there is a two reactant, reactant A which has 80 kg and reactant B which is a 50 kg. Right? So, we are just going to add this both reactant directly into this reactor. Now, we are going to allow this both reactant to long period of time for the reaction and get produced the product. So, this both are allowed to settle down in this uh, vessel and react with each other for long period of time and it will be give product C. After generation of product or after let's suppose uh, it will take 2 hours for the reaction. So, we will take the product out from this reactor after the 2 hours. Right? So, this is about the batch process. Batch process refer to a process that consists of sequence of one or more step that should be performed in definite order. The finite quantity of the product is produced at end of the sequence which is repeated in order to produce another product batch. Generally, batch is a process that result in production of limited quantity of material through a subjecting quantity of raw material to set of processing activity over significant period of time with use of one of more pieces of equipment. Processing of successive batches must be wait until the completion of current batches. Right? So, if we are going to add some other chemicals or uh, we want to produce uh, other product then we need to wait for certain time of period for the reaction. After that reaction and cleaning of this reactor we can add another batch in this reactor. For that we are going to use bar chart for the scheduling this type of process. Now let's discuss about the continuous processing. In continuous processing which raw material are continuously fed into the manufacturing vessel as the finished chemical is removed to create room for the reactant. Right? So, we are continuously removing product to create room for the reactant. A continuous process which refers to a processing that involving moving a simple, simple work until at time between every step of process without break in time, substance, sequence and extent. As the name suggests, continuous. So, flow of product or material is a continuous. Every machine operates in steady state and performs certain process function. For majority of application, continuous flow save the cost or can say that con uh, continuous process give better energy saving time saving compared to the batch process. When this process is properly implemented, it can reduce waste, improve quality by making it easier to identify and correct the error, increase the productivity and adapt to a need of customer more efficiently compared to the batch processing. When comparing different process, the consideration always given to a advantages of continuous operation over the batch op operation. In many case, cost of uh, continuous uh, process is uh, reduced than the 
batch process or cost of continuous process is less than the batch process because in continuous process less labor requirement and control of equipment and grade of final product is a simplified in continuous process where in batch operation was common in earliest day of chemical industry most process have been switched completely or partially to the continuous operation right so batch process is the very old process and uh, it's run in earliest days of 70s and 80s which mostly converted into the continuous process or partially continuous process which is a semi batch process right so evaluating advantage and disadvantage of every type of process is important to determine which one should be work based for the you when it's come to the cost of equipment continuous process is most expensive than the uh, batch process however when comparing the production rate uh, with the batch process continuous process is cheaper one right but uh, absolute uh, cost of continuous process is uh, higher than the batch process if you don't have a um, enough manpower to perform the work you can benefit more with the continuous process compared to the uh, batch process because it require fewer people than the batch process in term of easy of automation batch process is relatively more difficult than the continuous process both continuous and batch process are vital in production of material or product having deeper understanding of each of them can help you make a inform about the or taking decision which one is the best plant having capacity greater than 5000 ton per year then you should select the continuous process but if plant capacity is the 500 per ton per year sorry 500 ton per year then uh, normally we are going for the batch process right uh for less than 500 we are going for the batch for um, greater than 5000 we are going for the continuous process to understand this let consider this figure in this figure we are going to continuously add reactant a plus b right let's take same example of batch process we are here continuously going to add a plus b and um, reaction going to occurs and we are continuously removing the product right so here we are continuously going to remove the product so we can uh, continuously add the reactant because if we are going to react the uh, if we are going to remove the product from this side it's create room for the this added reactant right so this type of process is known as a continuous process right now batch process are often prefer for the product which uh, is a seasonal demand so batch process uh, has a advantage when you uh, you have a plant of seasonal product then you can use batch process so batch plant are often preferred for the product with the seasonal demand the greater ability of batch plant make them more sustainable for product with short lifetime some reaction are so flow that batch reaction are only seasonable alternative compared to the continuous process right so if this reaction uh, or if uh, for this reactant let's suppose this reactant a and b for this reactant and this reaction occurs very slow if we are going to add this both reactant and producing c but this reaction take Uh, too much time to produce C, then we we cannot uh, use the continuous process. We uh, we need to go for the batch process, right? So it is uh, very difficult to build continuous process when low capacity of slurry must be handled. So this is also disadvantage of the continuous process. If you need to handle a uh, slurry with uh, uh, which is in a uh, low capacity, then uh, we should go for the batch process, right? so this is uh, about the batch process and continuous process now let's discuss about the unit process and unit operation uh, 
a unit process involve principal chemical conversion leading to synthesis of uh, various uh, useful product and it provide basic information regarding the reaction temperature pressure conversion and yield of product for example alkylation halogenation nitro uh, nitration and sulfonation right so these all are the unit process now let's discuss about the unit operation unit operation involve a physical change or chemical transformation of the one material and phase for example separation evaporation filtration distillation so these all are unit operation chemical industry operate with combination of unit process and unit operation right so in chemical industry any plant which we are going to produce for any chemical it use combination it use combination of uh, unit process and unit operation right so let first discuss about this schematic the this schematic is used for the batch distillation where this schematic are used for the continuous distillation process right uh, this schematic represent are important to draw the process flow diagram for the any chemical plant process flow diagram is the arrangement of all equipment for manufacturing of single product right so to draw the process flow diagram we need to understand certain symbol which are used for the particular equipment so this is a symbol for the distillation or can say that batch distillation where this is a symbol for the continuous uh, distillation in continuous distill uh, distillation this is a tray tower where this is used for the packed tower right so continuous distillation that can be uh, done in two type of uh, tower or can say that two type uh, two type of column one is a tray column and second is a pack column right so these both are schematic representation for the distillation one is a batch distillation and second for the continuous distillation batch distillation used for the inter uh, intermediation operation and handling of small volume of feed and product while the continuous process and tray tower used for the high volume continuous separation of complex mixture such as a petroleum fraction where pack column use packing for the separation or continuous fraction these both are contact with the appropriate pump z boiler condenser and automatic control right so this is all about the today's lecture i am completing my lecture here thank you Thank you.